Hello, um, that's me PJ Holden. I'm going to show off a little feature in Manga Studio 5.0.2. So um, this is basically available in the newest version of Manga Studio in either the normal version or the X version. If you bought Manga Studio 5 a while ago, then there's an update for it. Um, I'm not sure how you get that, but there, I'm sure it'll be a free download somewhere. Uh, that'll update you to 5.0.2, and um, this feature will be part of it. And what it is essentially is that um, Manga Studio uh, version 5 introduced the idea of reference layers. Uh, these are sort of layers that can be used while you're working on another layer. So um, if you're doing a fill, for example, uh, you can fill using the lines within the reference layer, but actually fill on a different layer. So um, the best way to show that is to, just to show it rather than talk about it. But here I've got a, a simple sort of pencil drawn. Um, I've, I use Frendon's tools for all of this stuff because I like the, the pencils and stuff he, he's designed. So there's a simple pencil layer which is actually set up. See there, this little icon here means it's a reference layer. Uh, I'm going to create uh, a brand new full color layer, which I'll just drag below that, that reference layer. Now um, this is, I'm just using a, a paintbrush here, so I'll show you. This is your normal normal activity with a paintbrush. And you see as you expect it, you just paint wherever you like because I'm actually painting on the layer below that. What I can do though, I'll delete all of that painting. What I can do is I can turn on within all of the paintbrush, all of the tools within my industry will have this anti-overflow option. Uh, and uh, uh, the option I'm going is do not exceed line of reference layer. Slightly esoteric wording, I think, um, probably because it's hard to explain this stuff easily. But essentially what it does is it means that, and you'll see my little pointer there. If I draw a line here, right, um, on this side, you'll see as I go up towards the edge, Even though my tool here, it doesn't go outside, it doesn't hit, it doesn't go beyond that line because the um, the side that I'm actually drawing on, the, the place where my mouse pointer is, is on the one side of the line, so it doesn't fill beyond that. Uh, and I, again, that's using the line within the reference layer. This is a little slower than it would be because I'm, I'm recording this on uh, QuickTime, which is a bit of a dog for some recording stuff. But you can see very quickly how handy that is. If actually, if I choose a different tool, let's go for um, the Photoshop. Again, all of these, all of these have this. And you can see it's actually. As long as I am careful to paint only within um, the area that I want it, you'll see it doesn't actually go outside of those lines. So you can see very quickly I'm painting like that. So if I want to paint within this here area, I can actually go, you see I'll just paint within it. Now, um, because this is there's a little bit of grey wash we can use the um, what else? Uh, color margin so we can increase the color margin I think what that does is it'll yeah it'll sort of extend the paint a little bit so it's sort of directly underneath it you can see there I think that's what that does but anyway so that that's kind of a one of the new features in Manga Studio 5 and I think it's kind of amazing um, so if you're careful for example, I just paint inside that eye, and it's just painting within that area. Um, and there we go. So the same thing there. And that's without using any masks or anything. There's no mask set up there. Um, I haven't created any sort of flat layer. There's no fancy stuff going on. That's basically, that tool just works like, like magic without you having to do anything. Um, and it will just constantly fill to that line without going underneath it. Um, so ignore the terrible colours there. I did another colour and it was a lot nicer looking like that. But, uh, but anyway, that's the um, the anti-overflow option on um, thing. I haven't really got the chance to play with these. Stop point, centre line of vector, so presumably vectors only. Colour margin, uh, uh, okay. Uh, and area scaling, uh, area scaling I think is what I want. Okay, so I think what that will do is if I, yeah. Uh, 
various killing will, in this instance especially, where I've got a little bit of grey, you'll see it's actually going underneath the, the line. Get one of you, turn that off there, you can see it. So you'll see area scaling if I increase that area scaling. You see it actually goes underneath that a little bit, which is usually what you want anyway, because you don't want to have that funny little white glow. There, isn't that awesome? Anyway, that's all. Bye.